Hey guys, Nick Carlson here with Dawson Manufacturing, home of the Mulch Mate. This is going to be your official certification course. You're going to learn how to properly operate your mulch mate. You're going to be able to figure out how to load it, how to clean it, how to properly operate it, and be able to train your crews so you can run this bad boy all day long. All right, guys, so what I'll start with is I want to start with safety with this machine. If you notice, I'm always wearing safety glasses in all the videos you see, and that's because I want to keep my eyes safe. Um, whenever you're using the machine, it's not very loud, so we don't say you need to have hearing protection of any sort, but gloves are always helpful to keep you clean. Uh, and also, when it comes to the machine and operating the actual machine, you don't want to ever stick your hands up inside the machine, okay? There's a decal here that says, keep hands out of machinery, okay? Don't let it go past the plane of the side of the machine. There's a lot going on in here, and you don't need to be touching it. If you ever do need to get in there and do anything, make sure you compress your e-stop and make sure this red light is on. That way you can get in there, clean out what you need to clean out. Say if you have uh, a little too much mulch on the conveyor belt, that's okay. Take a pitchfork, shove it in the hole, and clean it out, okay? To, to re-engage this e-stop, twist it clockwise, and that'll re-engage the machine, then you can go ahead and turn the machine back on. Other things that you want to talk about as far as safety is when you drive down the road, you want to make sure your latching mechanisms are all in place. You do have an auto lock here on the bottom, okay? So that keeps the unit auto locked. And then up here, we do supply you with this safety pull pin, okay? It's very easy to pull out. Now, what we suggest is you put a padlock here and that will allow you to give a key to one of your guys and that will tell them, okay, you are in charge of this particular mulch mate. Okay. You don't want just anybody willy-nilly being able to open up this machine. All right, so now we're going to talk about keeping your machine clean because since the machine doesn't have a whole lot of maintenance to it, the, you replace some of the maintenance with cleanliness. So tarping system only has a certain amount of room to work, and if you get a bunch of mulch packed in, between this roller and this back panel, which can happen, that's okay. You wanna make sure you clean it out after every time you run the machine. How many times? Every time. So, what you wanna do is pull the tarp out. I like to throw it over the machine. Uh, you don't have to open it all the way up like this. A little bit's fine, but for video purposes while we do it. I like to throw it over there because it kind of protects me from the augers, keeps me away from them. Uh, the machine is off right now. The e-stop is compressed, and so, where you're going to see the most amount of material is back in this corner and back in this corner. So what you want to do, put some gloves on, clean this material out. As you can see, there's a little bit of material here. And you're just going to push it from in here all the way down. Look, see this material right there right now, right? Push it out and sweep it right onto the ground. Now, when you're running the machine backwards, when you're pulling the tarp out, this pipe is spinning underneath. So any kind of little excess like you just saw there, a lot of that's gonna get pushed out on the other side of the pipe. And all you're gonna wanna do is just take like a broom handle or something and just push it out on the conveyor and run it out. So that's how you keep the, this system clean here. The only part of this, um, other part of the machine that you wanna keep clean is you wanna keep the conveyor system clean. That also includes up under here, there are a couple holes and you got some mulch that gets packed up in here. As you can see, we got a little bit in there because I haven't cleaned it yet. You want to make sure that whole system there is cleaned out nice so you can actually uh, keep that system running, rocking and rolling. All right guys, so in this portion of the video, I'd like to talk to you about the cleanliness of your truck, the condition of your truck, and how to properly maintain this area of your truck. So, this bed is a couple years old. It's got some dirt on it. Uh, we have never pressure washed it, never cleaned it. Just sweep it out with a simple broom. So, what you wanna do is you never, ever, ever want any kind of a film of mulch or rock or sand or dirt. So this here, this is all fine. This is not gonna hurt anything. You barely have anything. That'll end up under the tarp and it'll get pulled in the machine once you pull the tarp over top of it. That's okay. But if it's bulk material like rock, especially rock, but any kind of mulch, that could really uh, affect how the machine runs. So what you're going to do is you have a side door like this. It's best to just take it over here, 
and sweep it out the door, hopefully into a trash can or a wheelbarrow of some sort, okay? So, the don'ts. You do not want to pull this tarp all the way in and then just sweep it all into the machine because what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna end up getting the, here, I'll pick this up, I'll show you. You're gonna end up getting the mulch down inside this crack here or the, or the rock or whatnot and that is going to become an issue for you because it's not going to have enough room for the tarp to actually roll up inside the machine. So what I like to do is I'll take a pitchfork or a flat shovel, any material that's left in the truck, it shouldn't be a whole lot, I'll pitchfork over the tarp and down here on the conveyor. That is okay. Any other material that's in here, you need to get it out, it needs to be clean. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pull this tarp out. Now, the best way to do that is in your kit, you get this little rod, actually not so little. This comes inside the basket and what you do with this bad boy, is you actually hook the tarp like so, there's a little handle underneath it here, and you hook it like so, and then you would take your remote control, press the out button, and that's gonna pull the tarp out and this rod keeps you away from those augers. All right guys, so in this segment of the video, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about how much mulch you can put in your truck and how high it actually can be. So, when you load your truck up with mulch, this is a 10 yard unit, okay? We tell you that because we know anywhere in the world with any kind of material, this machine will run 10 yards of mulch anytime, whether it's super wet, super dry, uh, different shreds, anything you can think of. So, the big key important thing is, after you pull your tarp out, and you put your mulch inside the truck. You do not want the mulch any higher than this point here. It needs to be about one inch below that. The reason being is if mulch gets up here, it'll get compacted, it'll slow the machine down, and it puts extra load on the machine that it's just not designed for. So this is designed around a standard F550 body. It's 42 inches tall. Um, once you put your mulch in the truck, it's okay to jump up there, flatten out the top of the load, spread it out a little bit, and that way you can get more capacity. Uh Alright guys, so in this segment of the video we're going to show you exactly how to pull the tarp out from it completely being wound up inside the machine to all the way out and ready for you to put mulch on top of it. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take your remote and turn it on, okay? The control panel on the outside of the machine is on with both green lights on. So what I've done is I've taken our little hook here, it's about five foot long. You're gonna hook it on the handle below the tarp, okay? Once that's hooked on, turn your remote on and then press the out button. At this point, guys, I'm just going to take the handle and continue pulling this bad boy out. All right, so now the tarp's out. I can't really pull it too much further. That's okay. So what I'm going to do is take the tarp, throw it back over here, grab the next handle. I'm going to turn the remote off for safety reasons. So now, now that's off, nothing works. I'm going to go ahead, pull this tarp up over the truck, like so. And you now have yourself 
basically a conveyor inside your truck. Now be careful, this can be slippery depending on what size truck you have and if you have any kind of a plastic liner. But at this point, you now have what I call the tongue hanging over the cab of the truck. And then you can go ahead and load up mulch, rock, sand, dirt, whatever it is you want to run. Throw it right on top of here. Keep it below the level of the machine. Flatten it out and make sure you stay within DOT spec by taking your original tarp, like ours, which is right here. You take this tarp, pull it around, cover your load, and uh, bungee it right to the roof of your machine, just like we do right here. All right, guys, so I want to talk to you a little bit about stone, sand, well, stone and sand and rock are kind of all in the same neighborhood anyway. Material that isn't mulch, okay? When you run the mulch mate and you run it with stone, sand, gravel, blah, 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 dirt, you run it a little differently, okay? You're only going to want to put about four to five tons, at most five, but four tons is what we recommend, to put on the tarp. And run through the machine. When you put it in, keep it as low as you can, flatten out as best you can. You'd be surprised, mulch runs harder through the machine than rock or sand. It actually runs smoother when you run those sort of things. But when you put it in here, I want you to know that you have to run it a little differently, and we'll get to actually how to run it with a joystick. But when it goes into the truck, I want you to put it right in the center, and I want you to spread it out evenly. I don't want it right in the center, I want it spread out evenly across the truck. That way the tarp pulls in nice and straight. All right, guys, so this section of the video, I'll we'll talk about how to actually operate the machine, how to start it, and how to properly run it, okay? So, you have your mulch mate key. Simple mower key. When you get out of your truck and you walk around to the side of the machine, first thing you're going to do is you're going to open your chute. It's real easy. Just have some magnets, slap it up here. I like to roll it up real nice. Pull your little bungee out. And then this bad boy just loops right around there. Okay, so at this point, the machine <coughs> at this point, you want to put in, push in the chute tray all the way back. If that tray is out for any reason, mulch will get on it, it gets pulled back into the system, and that's a no-no. You don't want to do that. So, you now have a wheelbarrow here, let's say, okay, you take your key, you put it in the mulch mate and you turn it on right just like that you're gonna get one green light that's not good enough this is not gonna work that means the, the machine is on like an accessory on a vehicle to actually turn it on kind of like a Tesla you bump it you get two green lights and now the machine is ready to rock so when I hit this joystick it's gonna run just like this now we get to make a nice little mess so you now you have your machine on the whole panel's on and running. One of the things that you might want to check is your gearbox to the right of your chute. It has a decal on it that says engage and disengage. This is kind of like a neutral on a manual car. It needs to be engaged for the tarping system to run. You have it disengaged like this, the tarping system is not going to run. Now, when you push this back, sometimes it gets stuck like this. That's okay. just want to explain this to you. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit the joystick 
to the left or down, and you're going to bump it into place. That easy. So now the machine is ready to rock. You have your wheelbarrow underneath your chute, and you're ready to start loading mulch. Now you keep in mind when you load your mulch, it's kind of like a mountain. It's kind of got that taper down effect, right? So when you start to run the machine and you press the joystick down, it's going to start pulling that load in real slow. It's going to load the wheelbarrow slow. That's okay. The system's going to pull that load in, and the further into that load you get, you're going to get further and further in. It's going to get more and more and more mulch, right? So just be patient with it. Run it through. And then once your mulch is pretty much to your conveyor system, you want to keep an eye on what you're doing. So don't just sit here and just, just hit the joystick, right? You do not want the mulch any further inside the machine than about three quarters across the belt. This belt is very big. It will hold a lot of material. So when you bump the joystick, it's going to basically throw the mulch over the augers down onto the conveyor. And then you're just going to bump it up once it's once the conveyor is full and it's just going to run just a conveyor. Okay. So big key item. You have to understand this. That belt is only 18 inches wide. The chute is only 18 inches tall and you've got a wall of mulch trying to come out of this little hole. So how to run this exactly correct. Put your wheelbarrow underneath of it. Press the joystick up every single time. Press it up. That's conveyor only. When the conveyor runs out of material and it's done and it's empty, press the joystick down for about a second and a half, about a second and a half. You need to keep an eye on what you're doing. Just kind of peek. Go, okay. The belt doesn't have too much on it or doesn't have enough on it. And one of the big things that guys do wrong that you don't want to do is they sit here and they go, you don't want to do that. When you hit the joystick down, you need to commit for no less than a second, but no more than two seconds. The machine is very powerful. When you start bumping it like that, the system doesn't like it and you need to just hold it down. Now your wheelbarrow is probably three quarters away full and just top it off. Boop, boop. So when the next guy comes up, you go back to rule number one, top off, top off, get that conveyor belt cleaned off. Okay. The system's very quick. You can run it very, very fast. All right, guys, so we want to talk a little bit about running other materials other than mulch. Now, you can run a lot of different types of materials through here, but you do need to run the system a little differently because mulch can weigh anywhere from 500 to 900 pounds per yard. Things like stone can weigh up to 3,000 pounds per ton or per yard, or not per ton, per yard. And so you need to keep that in mind. This conveyor system can only hold, I don't know, 200 pounds or something like that. So when you go up to your machine, okay, you turn the system on, right? You have, let's say you have one to three inch river jack in your truck already. It's spread out, it's evenly across the tarp. Good to go. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna run the joystick a little differently. You're gonna press it down a shorter period of time. So you're gonna do it for about a second. You're gonna go, that's it. And you're basically gonna introduce a line of rocks between here and here, and that is it. All, and the thing is, you gotta keep in mind, the rock's gonna flow through here really, really fast. You don't get greedy. Don't try to overdo it, okay? So you press it down, about that long, and then you're gonna press the joystick up, and you're gonna just run all that out. When you run out of rock, you just go, and then you just do it again, and do it again. And so you only have rock basically falling out of this one side. You can do it with sand, you can do it with rock, you can do it with dirt. You just need to understand, getting greedy is where you run into trouble. This system will run all day long if you run it, just like I just showed you.
All right, guys, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about how to properly secure your mulch mate to the back of your truck before you head down the road. So you wanna make sure that you have your safety pin or your lock at the very top of the latching system. So that's gonna hold that in place. Also, your auto safety lock, you wanna make sure that bad boy is all locked and pinned in place and these pins are behind these crescents, okay? So now you have this is latched in. The other thing you wanna check is your basket. So this basket has two locking areas. Take your lock, throw it in there, and latch it. You got another one on this side here. You don't want anything to fall out of your basket, so latch that bad boy there. And then on this side of the machine, if you have the pull pin style unit, so pull these pins. Even if they don't fall in the holes, that's okay. You still want to have them engaged. There's four on the whole unit here. So that's how to keep your machine safe and locked to the back of your truck before you head down. All right guys, so in this video, we're gonna show you how to properly open up your mulch mate and keep you safe. So, rule number one, safety. Turn the system off by pressing the E-stop. After that, pull this pin. And at this point, we already have the pins on the driver's side already pulled out, so those are out of the way. You're gonna pull this safety pin here, pull the system up, and then you're just gonna open it up. Okay, as you can see, it swings very, very easy. Now the pins are in. in. You're going to take the safety chain. Now your mulch mate has a safety chain pin, the machine is safe, the joystick doesn't work, so these augers won't spin. Now typically, this wire does not pop out. Our truck has a broken female end, so my bad. So now, your mulch mate is hung on the side of the truck, and you want to make sure you can dump this on a level surface. All right, guys, so now we're at the back of the machine. On the back side, there's basically two things you want to make sure you keep your eyes on for safety reasons. First, your tool basket. Any of the tools inside of here could fall out if you don't have some sort of locking mechanism on the back here. We do give you a place to lock it in two different locations, one here on the right and one here on the left. Okay, so when you're going down the road, if you have a bunch of stuff in this basket, make sure that you have some sort of lock or pin in here to keep it from falling out. We don't want your tools on the side of the road. Another thing is this, this uh, ladder in the back. This ladder can be pushed in, but it's not locked. It's not locked, right? So what you want to do, you have this little pin here. You want to push it in, and you want to push, and then let it fall down. When you want to get it out, see right here, you just push and lift up. And that allows you to get that ladder out and keeps it locked while you're going down the road. 